Hey amazing hackers, I am Torhat from HM Cyber Academy. We are going to continue with our incredible web hacking series. Here, you are going to learn hacking or you will die trying. So let's get started. Previously, we have done Natus 15 which is uh, blind SQL injection. So this time we will see what we can do. Okay so natus password is this one from the previous level all right here we go so for security reasons we now filter even more characters hmm so previously we have seen that if we enter some text and we hit some search we would return a lot of values and these values are not case sensitive okay so a s is it is capital a and is small s okay so it is not case sensitive so it should be something like grep right so it is something like grep dash i a s and then dic dictionary dot txt so this is what happened last time okay so it is going to search this value in this file which is not case sensitive okay so that's what it means so if you see grep dash dash help you can see that its syntax goes something like this okay grep and you can give multiple options this dot 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 means you can give multiple options and you can give only single pattern okay and you can give multiple files okay so you can give something like grep let me clear this grep you can give dash i or dash something else okay <coughs> you can give multiple something options okay and you can give only single pattern okay ast something like that and you can give multiple files okay let's see password and you can give dictionary.txt so this is what happened last time okay this is what we have given so we have given a single character and it was able to give multiple files okay this file and this file so this time also we need something like that but for security reasons they have they are filtering some characters okay so we cannot keep uh, some characters so what characters are they expecting so we don't know we have to give a lot of guesswork like we keep a dollar symbol and we keep some internal shell okay so here we can give some grep command or something like that okay so we don't know what characters they are filtering out so this is the best thing in uh, over the wire labs okay they have given a source code you can check that okay so and also you can check something as i've said before okay you can try with multiple characters like if you type dollar symbol does it get uh, no it is not getting filtered i guess okay so and if you keep uh, some brackets like this it may be returning something from this okay so we don't know so that is a lot of guesswork you need to do but if you go to the source code we are going to skip all this thing okay so this is the characters okay let me zoom in that is too much zoom okay so these are the characters that are being skipped and you need to ignore this one okay because this is part of a syntax okay so these are the characters that are being filtered out okay so as you can see you cannot see the dollar sign and you don't see the brackets okay so you you see square brackets here but you do not see this uh, normal brackets uh, those round ones okay so what we can do is we can uh, give something like this okay so dollar and here we need to type something okay you can give a command here and uh, we need to check some character so what this will actually do is the this is like a small shell within 
the command okay so you actually give a grep command okay so inside this if you keep uh, some dollar and then this and if you are checking for a character then it actually exists okay so this actually the character a is inside this file okay so we also need to mention which command we are using this is just like a normal shell okay so you are executing this whole thing and giving it as an output to this whole command okay that is how it actually works but this time if it returns false okay so if it returns nothing then the syntax error might occur okay so to avoid that you need to add something at the end okay something like one or two or something like that so this is uh, like a backup you can say <coughs> so if this doesn't exist then this might exist okay so if it does exist then it is going to check in this file and this file both files okay so it is a little bit complicated so you need to understand that this is itself a whole shell and it is executing a command and the output is uh, displayed right here itself okay right here it is not even going anywhere and the out based on the output it is going to check with other other things okay so this is how we are trying to do this so grep a and we are going for a slash etc slash password let me check if this actually works so it's giving nothing so if you give one at the end so it doesn't matter if you give one or two so this is actually going to be searched with uh, the dictionary file okay so even if you keep a or b or something like that it doesn't matter okay so let me keep one because there are few words with one in dictionary so so it's not giving anything right so let me change this so it is giving nothing because this actually exists in here hmm so let me go to this actually the latest password actually because we can uh, identify some characters all right uh, we can actually do something else here so we are giving some regular expression like it is starting with letter a okay if something is starting with letter a then well let's see what happens okay so as you can see uh, this password file doesn't contain something that uh, starts with a because as you can see <coughs> cat slash etc slash password you can see most of these files doesn't start with capital a i mean small a or any kind of a actually so it doesn't start with a this one has something that start with a but uh, the system that they are having doesn't start with a see we know that something starts with capital r right so we'll we'll see if uh, root actually exist so if it exist which means this actually returns something so this doesn't ex uh, this doesn't execute okay so that's how it is so let's copy this see as we, as we have expected this doesn't executed as uh, a word okay because this is returning something right so what we can do right now is we we will see this uh, true or false conditions okay uh, let me give a complicated word so that uh, we have a less output so what we can give is uh, we already have some kind of output so technology hmm right because it actually exists so let's keep a and let's keep heck yeah we have few output right now let's keep uh, technology there is nothing like technology yes there is only one word so we have less output we can work with okay right because this doesn't execute 
this is actually uh, a word that is being tested with a dictionary file okay so let me see so instead of this we are going to give our slash etc slash natus underscore web pass slash natus 17 so this is what we want okay this is the file we want to check because this file uh, has only single string it is going to check if the first character is a okay so let me check so it is not a is it b it's not b it is uh, we don't know right so let's uh, take this into burp suite so it must be much easier here right send it to intruder intercept off clear everything and it is in the url itself and this is character b right so i think this is the one so b yeah this b okay so percentage 5e is the caret symbol and this is what we need to brute force so let me go to the payloads brute forcer one and one okay and then let's start attack and we'll see how it goes as you can see there's no change in the output Hmm, that's interesting. Do we need to keep uh, capitals as well? Hmm, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, T, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Let's copy this let's go let's go holy cold 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 i think two are already running the scan is finished and uh, just uh, let's try to filter out using the length because we know that this response gives nothing okay no output but this response whichever else response okay so it is giving some output like technology technologies okay so our first letter is capital x so what do we need to do we need to modify the payload we should something like this okay so grab caret symbol capital x and uh what do we see slash etc slash natus underscore web pass and, and uh, natus 17 i guess right so natus 17 all right so this is our payload previously so this executed nothing okay so what we need to do now is addition to this we need to keep the we need to find the next character okay so for that we are going to use the same payload but here we are going to add capital x okay we are going to add capital x and we are going to brute force the next next uh, character okay so let's brute force it and we'll see the output and filter it using this and the next like next character is k okay so you you keep k here and you find the next character okay and it is capital e okay you keep <coughs> capital e and you brute force the next one it is small u okay so small u and then next it is capital c okay 
come here capital C and then start attack okay right small h we keep small h start attack capital E come here capital E start attack it is zero okay this is number zero and start attack capital S excellent start attack oh it's giving nothing okay so right so small b right okay so we had two responses there right because the payload itself is small b so it is responding with the same thing so we had two responses with the same uh, output okay right so let's start attack small n start attack capital K start attack <clears throat> capital B start attack small v start attack capital H start attack number one start attack capital R we do this until we get uh, 32 characters okay capital u start attack right number 7 start attack small k start attack small s start attack uh, it is capital i okay so a b c d e f g h capital i okay so right start attack it's again b since the payload itself is b it is giving two responses okay so it doesn't mean it executed twice the payload is actually executed in zero and the next payload will be executed here okay so since the payload is same as the zero so it is like uh, it is giving twice as much okay so right let's get back with this right number nine start attack small u start attack again small u start attack capital L start attack small m start attack oh again capital I so don't confuse with L okay it is capital I because it is number 9 okay so capital I <laughs> <clears throat> number seven start attack right small s start attack small d start attack S 
So, right. Hmm. It's not giving any output. So, I think this is the password. We got the password. And uh, I'm guessing this is 32 characters. So, to test <coughs> text length finder. This should be 32 characters. Okay, calculate. Oh, shoot. This is not the one. So, we need to be copying this one until capital X. Okay, so right click, copy 32. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Paste. No, it's not selecting something wrong with this. So let me send it to repeater so I can capture this until capital X. Okay, so I huh. So as you can see it is 33. So which means it is 32 bytes. Right. So if you can use this in NATA 17, we'll see that it is the password. It is 17. Paste the password. Right. There's something that is being missed here. Okay. Sorry. I don't think we need this. It is 17. And we're in. Right. 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 So it should be 32 length. Sorry for that. All right. So that's how you solve this. This is very interesting and you need to do a tedious task in getting the password. So try to understand that this is a just a shell. Okay, it executes something, right? So if it executes, then uh, it returns something. So that is not being displayed along with this. Okay, so if it doesn't display anything, so that means this is going to return null okay this is going to return nothing so then this technology is going to be executed with the dictionary okay so that's how it is so i hope you enjoyed this i'll see you guys in the next one